Welcome to a new video here at the workshop, my name is Ipmali. Today we will be reviewing a new video on a topic that once seemed complicated, but today it is easy and quite simple, and therefore we will now format your computer without any problems, as a result, you will receive a new computer, as if you bought it in store. And so, these are a few simple steps that everyone can do, please follow me step by step and we will succeed. Click the button, start, then, settings, update, and security. Recovery Now click on the right, get started. In this window, we can choose two options, if your computer is not stable, but you still intend to continue using your computer after formatting, and you want to keep your documents, photos, videos and other personal files, then click here. If you want to do a full formatting of your computer with the permanent removal of your account and all personal data, and after this process you plan to give or sell your computer to someone, then you need to select the second option and click, here. In this case, you will have a guarantee that subsequently another user will not be able to recover your personal data using special programs. In this window, you can choose to download Windows files from the cloud. This requires a constant internet connection and can use more than 4 gigabytes of data. A local reinstall uses the Windows files of this computer, but if you think that some files on the computer may be damaged or infected with a virus, then it is better for you to choose the first option. I choose a local reinstall. In this window, we can change the reinstallation options. To do this, click, here. Here I choose, yes, and although the process will take longer, but the other owner of the computer will no longer be able to restore my data. If put here, yes, it will be a transition from a local reinstallation to a cloud one. I choose, not. Delete files from all drives and partitions. This setting item appears if there are other partitions or drives on the PC besides the system drive C. If you select, yes, all files on all drives will be completely deleted. For example, I will choose, yes, I click, confirm. Now here it is possible to see the list of drives that will be changed, I click on it, and here we see all the drives connected to my computer, on which all files will be deleted. Back. The second disk is the storage for my files, and so I choose. No. Confirm. Next. This is the last window where all the changes that will happen to your computer are indicated. Read everything carefully before starting the process, and if you change your mind and want to change something, click, cancel. I press reset and the process started. For some time we will not need to do anything, the computer will restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The reinstallation of Windows 10 is over, and now we will do some standard system settings that are usually done during the installation process of a new Windows 10. Here you need to select a region. Then choose a keyboard layout. Skip. The system prompts you to familiarize yourself with the terms of the license. Accept. I choose for home use. Next, here you can sign into your account or create a new Microsoft account. I'll create a local account and I'll click offline account. You can do the same. I'll deal with this later. Name your account. I like that name, Bond, James Bond. Next, here you need to enter a password. I will do this later. Next. Here I will disable all settings, it can speed up my computer. Windows welcomes us, there is very little left. Yes. Reinstallation of Windows 10 completed successfully. 
I hope you have the same. Here we see that on the desktop there is not a single shortcut to the programs that were previously in the old windows, now they are all completely removed. Now let's see what happened to me with the activation of the new Windows 10. I press the button, start. Then, settings. Update and security. And here we open the section, activation. Yes, I have a digital license, which is stored on the Microsoft website and when I reinstall a new Windows, activation occurs automatically. This concludes my lesson and I hope that what I told was interesting for you. If you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone. Good luck!